Hi everyone, Maxine here with Tink and I Treasures. Welcome back to my studio. Today I have a really quick thing to show, I promise. I know I say that a lot, that it's going to be quick and then it ends up not being. But but I this time I'm telling the truth. So in here I have a mixture of just Elmer's glue. It happened to be the clear kind but the white would work just as well. You mix the glue with two to three times, you know, one part glue to two or three parts water, which would include freshly brewed coffee if you wanted to get, you know, the vintage, you know, brown color in it. Um, you would include that liquid in your two to three times water or use, you know, a little bit of um, instant coffee to get, you know, the color that you're looking for. Now, what we want is a napkin. And this one happens to be just a part of one that I had, but... You want to remove the white backing. There's one layer or two layers of white backing. Just make sure that that all gets removed. Okay, so now you just have your napkin. Now, uh, uh, a full full size napkin that has an all over design is going to be a lot more useful than something like this that has, you know, four quadrants and, you know, it's a repeat pattern is not going to be as useful, but the white backing is extremely useful. Okay. So if you don't have a really pretty napkin, or um, something that's an all-over design, you know, you can take off the white backing and, and use that. That works really well. So what we want to do is put a layer of this glue mixture down, and I'm using freezer paper and the shiny side up, and that's important. To be able to lift it up afterwards so you want kind of a slick surface that nothing is going to you know it, it can't be a porous type surface so you know I'll lay this gets tricky this is the tricky bit <laughs> because napkins tear Although you can mend tears pretty easy if they don't get too bad. But yeah, this is the tricky bit because laying it out um, <laughs> is not the easiest thing to do. But, you know, kind of flatten it as much as possible. The wrinkles out as much as possible. And then you want to go over the top. Now this you need to be careful with. I have realized that if you get too rambunctious with this step, you will tear the napkin. So you want to make sure that you get it all around and make sure that you cover the edge, go over the edge a little bit. So make sure the edges are all covered. And, um, yeah, to get that patinaed, you know, older look, you just, you know, add coffee to your mixture or you can leave it plain and not, not have that old patina look. It's totally, you know, whatever, whatever whatever you're going for. OK. 
Okay, now you get it all covered. Everything is covered nicely. It doesn't have to be real thick or heavy. Just, just covered nicely and all the edges are taken care of. And at this point, you just have to wait. You can't rush it. You can't use a heat tool or anything like that to, excuse me, to dry it. You just have to let it dry on its own, which could take anywhere from a couple hours to half the day to overnight. Um, it just depends. But once it's dry, this is what you have. This one's a little bit bigger than what I just did. But you just pull it up. It takes a little bit to get it going. Oops, there I started tearing it. It takes a little bit to get it going. But once you get it going, it's, it's usually not too bad to get up. Depends on the napkin, I suppose. Some napkins I've had absolutely no trouble with at all. Um, other napkins, like this one, <laughs> uh, was tearing. Of course, you know, and it, it depends on what you're going to use this for. But what you end up with is is kind of like rice paper. That's the whole point of this. It's kind of like rice paper. And actually, it's it's not really all that fragile once you get it up off the off the paper there, the wax or the freezer paper. Um, so it's pretty malleable to work with, you know. Um, but this has got that nice coffee dyed look to it. Here's another one I did. And it, you know, has that has that coffee dyed. But yeah, it's like it's somewhat translucent. It's like rice paper. And it's got that sound. I love that sound. <laughs> um, but this, this is just the white. So I used white backing, and this one is just the white too. I think this is a single sheet of white. I believe this one ended up being a double sheet. So isn't that cool? Now you could you could fold this like this and like this, you know, and make make a pouch or an envelope. You could cut this in half and have a couple of envelopes and, and decorate them all up. But isn't that cool? I just think it's so neat. And, and this one too, you know. I think the white ones are actually the best to use, really. Um, because you then you can decorate it up and stuff. But there's a nice big piece. I can make big, big envelope or or several envelopes from it. Or anyway, so that was it today. See, I told you, I told you it was going to be quick. No lie. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. I hope you liked that little little trick. Um, it, it's fun to do. And like I said, a larger napkin, like a dinner size napkin that has an all over design is going to be far more useful than these smaller cocktail napkins that have the four quadrants, you know, um, and they're separate type things. So, but the white, the white backing is, is always, you know, a plus. So until next time, take care of you, love each other, and I will see you again. Bye.